We're here today at Rocky Mountain Allergy in the Food Allergy Treatment Center, and we are going to spend some time with Amber and Derek Delmonico. They have traveled here from Hawaii to have their son Dylan treated uh, for the peanut allergy. Just gonna have them tell us a little bit about, first of all, kind of what life has been like for them up to this point. So if you wanna go ahead and share kind of what a daily, a daily routine is for the two of you with Dylan. You. <laughs> okay, um, well, a daily routine, just, we've already checked all the food that's in our house, um, you know, after shopping at a store, so he eats his breakfast, and then we get ready and go to school. However, school for us is terrifying. Um, he has six EpiPens at the school. There's two in the nurse's office, four in his classroom, um, two in his lunchbox. Um, the teacher has been trained. Um, how to use it. However, when we do have substitute days, um, I attend school um, with him because they are not trained in how to use an EpiPen. So, school for us, when I drop him off, I am scared of if I will see him when I pick him up um, because it's not a nut free school. They claim to be, but you can't ever be guaranteed that there won't be nuts there. So, um, for us, school days are hard. Um, but we get through it, and um, when I pick them up from school, it's very exciting. <laughs> so. Okay. Can you share with me, since you just flew here from Hawaii, what that experience was like? What was the experience like with the, with the airline? Well, it's very difficult to fly on an airplane. Um, most of the airplanes serve some kind of nut products. This one in particular served peanut M&Ms, and when they serve these peanut M&Ms, people are consuming them next to you, behind you, in front of you, spilling them on the floor. And, you know, Dylan starts coughing next to us. And we don't know if he's coughing because he's got some airborne uh, reaction to the peanut M&Ms or to the nine other products that they're serving on the airplane. We try to discuss with the flight attendants and the people before we board the airplane to see if we can either make an announcement on the airplane, if we can wipe down the area, with zero help whatsoever, non-accommodating. So it is very, um, it's very difficult being on an airplane and not getting any help and not being able to trust that uh, he's gonna be safe in a five hour airplane ride over the ocean. Mm -hmm. That five hours can mean life or death. Okay. Um, what, uh, when your, when Dylan's friends have birthday parties? <laughs> What do you go through? <laughs> That's the scariest days. We don't usually go. <laughs> um, but he did went. He went um, two weeks ago to his friend's birthday party who has a peanut allergy. So you would trust that they have safe food there. Um, but that morning of, I was actually in Arizona for a wedding. And um, the mom texted me and said, is this pizza OK? I said, no. I said, she cannot, or you cannot serve that to Dylan. Okay, well, how about this pizza? I said, well, maybe, but I don't know. And she goes, okay, what pizza can he have? So I had to tell her, you know, what pizza was safe. So, of course, I'm telling Derek, like, oh, my gosh, just bring your own food because it, clearly it's, you know, it, it may not be safe. So they get there, and it's the right pizza, thankfully. Well, Derek leaves to go get goggles, and um, the, surf, the cake was already served by the time he got back. And I had told her I wasn't comfortable with this cake that she got at a bakery because I don't give Dylan cake from a bakery. So um, she went and took it upon herself to give it to him without even Derek being there. So for us, birthdays are um, scary. We, we bring our own food or we just don't go. It's not worth it. So. so with all of this experience that you've had or things that you go through every day, what were your feelings coming here? When you found out about Dr. Jones, what, what was your first reaction? And then traveling here and then coming here yesterday for the first day, what were you feeling? Shocked, surprised, anxious, you name it, we felt it. We are so happy to have found Dr. Jones to be given this opportunity, which we didn't even think was available six months ago. So it's so exciting to even know that it's available, it's crazy. 
And how did you feel watching him go through the treatment yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, I was absolutely terrified. Um, for six plus years, we've been told it's poison, don't give it to him. And here I have to sit there and say, okay, give it to him. And um, he looks at me, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so it was a long day yesterday for me. I think I took the most of it. I was excited. I couldn't <laughs> wait to give it to him and hoping and just for the outcome. Can't wait to, for him to be able to live his life and enjoy it and go to birthday parties and have classroom birthday parties and Valentine's Day and Halloween and whatever that he's never been able to really celebrate. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine what life will be like. Like going, going to the grocery store right now, I can't imagine buying a candy bar. Like, it's just having to carry him into the ER, not breathing, it's the scariest thing as a parent to ever go through. So to give, be given this opportunity is just... Life-changing. Life-changing, yeah. For everyone. Yeah. yeah. It's not, I mean, Dylan, absolutely, 100%, but for us, it's life-changing. He said he's maybe more excited for me because the days I call him that I've left him at school and something happened, he can't wait to not have those phone yeah. calls. It's, it's, it's crazy how, how involved we have to be and how, how many things we have to worry about about him being at school and being with friends and he can't go and play dates at friends' house. The friends have to come to our house because it's not safe. Mm -hmm. So all the worries that go along with his nut allergy that he's had to deal with his whole life is all going to be eliminated. It's going to be an amazing experience. Well, we look forward to uh, visiting with you again in six months uh, when the day he graduates. So it will Me be a, it will be a wonderful <laughs> journey with you, and we yes. appreciate you traveling all the way here to that you have chosen Rocky Mountain Allergy to to treat your son and Dr. Jones. Um, so we appreciate your trust your trust in us. So we will see you in six months. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you.